Hello, I am Mrs. Sarah Roselle, the AP Chemistry teacher at Rochester High School. I know most of you, I've met most of you before, and the ones that I have not met, I look forward to meeting you in the very near future, hopefully, whenever it is deemed safe for us to do so. I'm really excited to be teaching AP Chemistry. This will be my second year teaching AP Chemistry, and last year was a spectacular first year, and my students did amazing, even though it was a little bit weird at the end. Um, they did awesome, and I was super thankful um, to be in teaching this class and have the students that I do have. I am looking forward to a great year with your students. They've already done so well. Even though it's probably been stressful, I'm sure they've complained about it. They are doing great, um, and I just need them to stick with me for a little bit, and once we get into a rhythm, it'll be perfectly fine and we will work together to be as successful as we can be. So a couple of things about myself. I currently teach AP, obviously, chemistry and physical science. Second semester, I also might be teaching botany. I've taught pathology in the past, block science, biology. So I've taught a little bit of everything except for physics, other than the physical science physics. Physics is um, definitely not my strongest science. So I definitely um, am a chemistry and life science person more than anything. These are some pictures to tell you a little bit about myself. There's my dog, Watson. Watson joined our family two years ago now, or a year and a half ago, um, and he was a rescue dog. Um, you also see my two children. We have Everett. He is a Brewster Bulldog this year in transitional kindergarten, and he couldn't be more excited about that. And then you see Addison. She is in third grade in Lake Orion Community Schools, where we live, and we've lived for about 10 years. Um, you also see a picture of Spartan Stadium because I bleed green. I went there for my undergrad as well as my master's, and it's someplace that I hold near and dear to my heart. Generally, we go to a few Spartan games in the fall. This year, not so much, but we're looking forward to getting back in that routine next year. And then at the bottom, you also see some of my uh, teaching colleagues down there. You see Miss Kuzmano on the left. She teaches English and Leadership. Mrs. Honeycutt on the right, she teaches special education and she is a co-teacher in the English classrooms. And then in the middle, along with myself, you see Miss Gambino, who was Miss Kuzmano's student teacher last year. Those were our Halloween costumes last year. We were professional bookworms. And in the background there, um, some of you might recognize that. That is my beautiful classroom, a place that I really miss and I know the students miss, but I am hopeful that sometime we'll get back there when it's safe and we can enjoy that space again. So a couple things about AP Chemistry. Um, AP Chemistry is a tough class. I think it's one of the hardest classes that you can take at the high school level, um, but I really enjoy the challenge of it and I'm really thankful to have students that are willing to take this challenge with me. Um, you see the content we cover right there is uh, separated into nine different units as defined by the College Board. The College Board publishes something called the Course and Exam Description, often referred to as the CED. And the CED is kind of like has all of our material that we need to cover, all of our standards, for lack of a better term. If you find this presentation online, and I'll give you the link again a little bit later, the CED is linked to the slide there at the bottom, but you can also just Google search AP Chemistry CED and you will find the course and exam description. It is publicly available for anybody to look at. So if you ever wanna see what we're covering, you can definitely check that out at any time. The test day is May 7th, 2021. It is a Friday. Um, important information for the AP test. In order for them to schedule a test to be ordered, they first have to enroll in our AP class. And at the bottom, it gives the instructions for enrolling in AP classroom. Um, student has to join the class section. They complete the registration information and then they need to pay for the test. The school is really encouraging the online system. As far as I know, it hasn't been super settled what that'll be, but I will give the students information and probably send out a parent email once that has been determined. Um, registration starts as soon as this week. The costs are on there for you, so let me know if you need any help with that. One thing that's really important for students, when they enroll in AP Classroom, it automatically defaults that they are undecided about taking the exam. If they leave that as undecided, the school just assumes that's a no and they will not get a test ordered for them. So they will need to change that to yes if they're choosing to take the test. So what can you do to help your student? Um, help them advocate for their education. In this class, it's gonna be very important that they openly communicate with me about what they need help with and what I can do to help them. 
I am here to help them be as successful as I possibly can be and as successful as they possibly can be. I really need them to advocate for themselves and let me know what they're thinking. Also understand this class is super challenging. Students that oftentimes receive all A's, they will maybe get a B in this class and that's okay. I've already had students from last year email me and tell me that they're so thankful for taking the class because their college chemistry class has actually become a little bit easier for them, which I always tell my students, that's my goal. If you get college credit, great, but more important to me is to help you navigate through college chemistry because oftentimes college chemistry is one of those weeder courses to get kids to uh, choose whether or not a certain career is right for them. So I wanna ease that transition for them and it's my hope that taking this class allows that transition to happen a little bit easier. And for them, my hope is the chemistry class is not their weeder class. The chemistry class might be one of their easier classes. That's my goal. And again, if they do great on the test, that is awesome as well. Talk to them about what they learned from their mistakes and things they consider to be failures. Um, your students are very hard on themselves and they often think anything less than an A is a failure. In this class, it is definitely not. It is hard and I will remind them of this repeatedly. Not that you can't be super successful and get an A, but it is a lot of work. Um, and I think that a lot of them struggle with that. But I think that they will be fine and they will do great as last year's students did as well. Focus on what they're learning in addition to their grade. Um, remember that AP classes are weighted on the five point grade scale. They are not out of the four point grade scale. Use Google Classroom to guide you into asking specific questions about what we're doing in class. Um, and engage in discussions with them about our content. One of the easiest ways to, for a student to understand whether or not they truly understand something is have to explain it to somebody else, especially someone that chemistry might not be their strong suit. So if they can take some of the knowledge from class and explain it to someone that doesn't have a chemistry background, then and that person then understands what they're talking about, that's amazing. And that's a great way for students to kind of self-assess what they do understand versus what they don't understand. Ways for your student to be successful. They need to participate. It's okay for them to be wrong. They're going to be wrong, but that's how we learn and we move forward from that. Um, they need to form a team to work with. I continuously encourage them that the best way to be successful in this class is to work together. Contact each other, FaceTime each other, do your own Zooms while you're working on homework. That's the best way to be successful in this class. Um, complete all the assignments and utilize practice opportunities. I provide a lot of practice opportunities that are not graded, but they're just chances for students to engage in AP level thinking and AP level assessments. And then they can check their answers, they can see what they messed up, what they did well, and then they can ask more specific questions about where their misunderstandings lie. They need to use a planner because they are already becoming overwhelmed with online assignments. Um, I would recommend a paper planner because although they are all really excited about using everything online, I think a paper planner that they have to physically look at and see and pick up actually becomes a little bit more useful. Ask questions when they come up, just not at test time. This is super important in this class because we go very fast and we cover a lot of material. So by the time they ask a question when it's test time, we're like two weeks beyond when that question applied and they could have missed out on things um, in the meantime that they didn't understand. Use a binder to help stay organized. They should have gotten a course pack when they picked up their textbooks last week. And in that course pack, there was a lot of papers and that's papers for them to keep, to write their notes on um, and to complete their practice so that they can keep it all together. But it's helpful for them to put that into a binder. The papers they picked up were units one through five of the course and exam description. And that is where we should be by the end of first semester. We might only be through unit four because the semester is short. Um, but I did copy unit five as well, just in case. I don't know when we're going to be back to school, but I wanted to make sure they had all the papers so they could take the notes and then have that resource when test time came in May. Review nightly so there's less cramming at test time. This is super important, especially in this class. Um, like I said, I provide a lot of practice opportunities. Oftentimes it's not formal homework, but practice opportunities, that's going to help them review a little bit every night to make sure they're keeping up with things. Schedule a time to meet with me. Um, it says before and after school, lunch, passing time, et cetera. That really is before or after class, um, during our lunch time would work out. Um, during our morning meeting or our morning break from 10 to 10.30 is fine. We have time after school from two to three o'clock. And even beyond that, I've already stayed late after three o'clock with students who needed it. 
I'm more than happy to help. Um, within reason, obviously, because my own kids, but I'm more than happy to help because I want to do everything I can for them to be successful. And then obviously using parent and student boo to keep up with their progress. Please, please, please encourage your students to communicate with me um, and to really get working on forming that team that they can rely on to ask questions and ask for help. It's going to be really important. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me at any point. And just a really big thank you for letting me um, spend time with your teenager in your house in this different learning environment. I know it's not ideal and I know that they are very nervous about it, but I promise that we will do our best to provide them with what they need to be successful. And they can always ask me questions if they have any and they know there's multitudes of ways they can reach me if they want or if they need anything. Um, the URL in the bottom right corner there will tell you how to access this presentation so you could then click on any of the links that you want. I'm sorry I couldn't see you guys in person. I'm really looking forward to that um, and I hope to see you guys soon and please give your students a giant high five for taking on this challenge because it is a challenge but I'm really proud of them and I'm really excited to see what we do this year. Thank you. Have a great night.